Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I've just been so all over the place recently. I don't even know, I don't even know where to begin. I feel like I don't have time to eat or sleep or breathe. I have been literally at the CNC office from morning until night trying to get all of your orders out, which by the way, thank you guys for being so patient with us. We are in the process of hiring some people to help get the orders out as quickly as possible because right now it's only Allie and I, which leads me to some very exciting news. Today's video sponsor. So because I have literally been working from morning to night, I literally just, this is the first thing I ate in two days. Like yesterday, I think I had one slice of thin pizza when I got home from work and I've just been so stressed and so busy that I'm not even hungry. Like food is the last thing on my mind. So I have never been so thankful for a vitamin in my life. These are ritual vitamins look at the cute packaging what is going on outside is it like street cleaning day basically these are multivitamins for women this vitamin in particular really focuses on building a stronger foundation for better health overall as a woman you know how crazy your schedule is whether you are a full-time mom or you have a full-time job it's crazy busy and it's hard to get the proper nutrients in your diet i know for me personally i like not the healthiest foods. I tend to gravitate towards like tacos and pizza. At least I know what these vitamins that I'm getting the nutrients I need in during the day. And you know what? Even if you do have a perfect diet, it's hard to get all the nutrients you need in a given day every single day. First of all, okay, when you open the vitamin, it smells so good. I don't know if you've ever smelled vitamins before, but they don't smell good, okay? They don't smell good. These smell like mints. When I was doing research on the company, because I always research companies before I put anything in my body, this vitamin is so well researched and I feel so safe taking these vitamins because it tells you exactly where each vitamin and each component of these vitamins were taken from. So folate, which was taken from Italy, omega-3, which was taken from right here in Saskatoon in Canada, vitamin B12 from Connecticut, vitamin D3 from the UK, iron from Utah, K2 from Norway, boron from Illinois, vitamin E from Argentina, and magnesium from Utah. So like I said, these ritual vitamins are the everyday woman's multivitamins, but they do have prenatals and they have women's 50 plus vitamins these vitamins are $30 a month they get delivered right to your door you get nine nutrients that your body needs that will help your body and that you're probably lacking right now let's just be real and ritual is actually kind enough to be giving you guys 10% off your first three months with the code Tony 10 so you guys have no excuse want to be taking care of your body and making sure you're getting the vitamins you need okay so let's take these and get into the rest of the vlog excited mommy's home okay so this is the patio furniture from walmart i'm so in love with it the cushions are super thick super durable and this actually looks like wood hi leo but it's actually metal and painted to look like wood right it's very durable it looks great i love the size of this coffee table i got these two planters that i was gonna plant like trees in it but i just haven't found like the right ones also, these flowers, it was so hot and sunny today. I should have brought them inside because they're like dying. So maybe tomorrow, I mean, I'm gonna add some more water to them. I just, I think they got like burnt from the sun. You can tell I don't know anything about caring for flowers. I'll need to get some that are like, can survive like direct sunlight because I get sun on this balcony all day. Um, this rug is from Wayfair. It's actually like an indoor outdoor rug. Um, it's a little bit more yellow tone than I wanted. I kind of wanted more of like a topiness, but it goes pretty well. You guys know the plant. I don't think I think he's doing okay because it's actually only half an umbrella. So when it opens up, it's like sits flat against the window. Although it doesn't do much during the day, I'd have to like put it on the other side for it to do anything, which I might try doing that. I just don't want to like blow over the balcony. So yeah, that's everything I got. I know it's sold out, but I'm hoping that it'll come back, but that's what I put on my balcony and I just love it way more. It feels so luxurious and this was definitely a great find. You ready to go in? You ready to go in? Wow, just look at those perfectly grilled asparagus. So I'm cooking dinner right now. I grilled some asparagus. The chicken is still on the grill. I have some of this whole grain brown rice. And inside I just added some garlic powder, salt, and 
avocado oil. I have some peppers and tomatoes roasting. I added like five tablespoons of garlic and I just can't taste it. I think it's the Greek in me, but I can literally eat straight garlic cloves. It's so good. Look at that perfect chicken. It literally looks so good. I know some people will say that this is burnt. I personally like my chicken very burnt and dry. <laughs> it's just a weird thing about me. Okay, and dinner is served. So I have my peppers, my rice, and I put some Parmesan on my asparagus. I'm gonna have this with some tzatziki. I could literally drink this stuff. And that's dinner tonight. Okay, so yesterday my best friend came over who loves organizing and she helped me organize this closet. So I'll put a little before in. I think I have a picture from my Instagram story, but she helped me organize everything. I got rid of so much stuff, it's crazy. So you guys saw, this is what it looked like before in this little story. I should have taken a proper video, but I was just so eager to get it done. So we have my sweaters that I wanted to keep. Some of these I might want to crop because I don't really wear like full out sweaters. Then I have my loungewear and then all of my jackets. So some of these used to actually be in my full closet, which is right through that door. But I put them all in here because I can actually walk in here now. This is from my closet DIY video. I have my shorts, some jeans. I'm keeping these jeans because I want to turn them into shorts. Some fancier pants, some lounge pants and leggings and sweatpants. I think I'm going to end up putting all of my sweatpants in here. And then here I have the dresses and the tops I'm cleaning. You guys, this was full. So look at the amount of stuff. Look at the amount of stuff. This is the stuff that I'm going to be posting to sell. And then I also have through here, these two bags are giveaway. I'm gonna donate it to like a woman's shelter. I had this dresser in here, which is just sitting in my bathroom right there that I need to like get rid of or find a spot for it. Look at my cute pajamas. <laughs> Ooh, I just showered. I feel like a new woman. Don't mind my hair, I'm gonna do that now. Oh my God, I look Amish. The lighting in this bathroom is awful. It's one of the reasons I want to move. I have been using this steamer so much. I showed you guys like that I took stuff out of my closet and I, I was able to reach this again. And I washed this shirt from Maritzia. I hand washed it in my sink and I hung it up here to dry. Steaming it is just so satisfying. But for my hair today, it's like in a, it was in a bun while I showered. I think I'm gonna do the same thing that I did yesterday, which was use this huge curling iron. I, I think this is the body waver from T3. I honestly wish I had a nicer bathroom because I love like filming, getting ready, doing things. Oh, by the way, this is a new top I got from Aritzia. They didn't have it in my size, so I ordered it when I went shopping at their store. I don't know, did I ever show you guys what I got from Aritzia? I think I put it in one of my haul videos, but if you're wondering why I'm out of breath, I walked up and down the stairs. This thing gets really freaking hot, so I don't put it all the way up. I maybe put it to three, four max. I love when hair just looks like you didn't even try. All you do is kind of use it as if you're curling your hair with a regular iron, but the curl falls out, so it's not too big. So you can see there is like a nice little curl there. I also gave myself a little bit of a trim. I ordered scissors on Amazon and they were really good scissors. Like. For a long time, I was cutting my hair with like just kitchen scissors, which I know don't come for me. Not a smart thing to do, but it's crazy how a good pair of hairdressing scissors really makes your life like so much easier. I guess that's why hairdressers aren't out here cutting people's hair with kitchen scissors. <laughs> I'm also debating buying my Prada bag in black because I love my Prada bag so much. I have it in nude if you guys don't know. And I don't know if I wanna go pick it up because that's like my most worn bag. And like, I just think like a, a bag like that is so classic. It's just, it goes with everything. And, and I don't have to worry about using it because it's so durable. Like you can literally throw it in the freaking washing machine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then I'm gonna throw, slap some makeup on and then I have to head to work. And potentially buy a bag. I don't know you guys. I don't know. Alrighty, so I'm in the middle of doing my makeup. Oh gosh, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to rest you guys on like a water bottle. I found this trick that actually was very useful. So for my eyeshadow, I'm using the Fenty Beauty. Yes, I know. I get in shit all the time from you guys saying my makeup is disgusting. It is. Okay, I already know it. 
I'm taking this brush from Amazon. It's like a dupe for the Anastasia highlighter brush. And I just pick it up and I literally do my eyeshadow so quickly with this big brush. It saves so much time. And I, I don't know. I just felt like I had to tell you guys that because it saves so much time. Today, I used the Hourglass Foundation for the first time in a long time. And I actually enjoyed it. Which I wasn't um, expecting because that color when I first got it seemed very yellow. Once I put my eyeliner on, I truly feel like my whole face has come together. Actually, that's a lie. I feel like every step is so important. That's why it's so hard for me to do like fast makeup because I feel like these little steps all make such a difference. And it doesn't take too long. Like I think I've been doing my makeup for 10 minutes so far and I'm almost done. I'd rather take the extra 5 minutes. Like even when I was in high school, CGEP university i got ready every day like i literally put makeup on every single day to go to school because when you feel better and you're ready i find you're more productive you get more work done i think i'm gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie today mark jacobs primer best thing ever and then the charlotte tilbury volume 2 mascara don't put this all the way to the tip or it's gonna get clumpy loving the summer fridays lip balm oh but honestly guys like save your money it feels like vaseline i'm not saying that to be shady like it smells amazing i think i'm just gonna blend everything out with my beauty blender spray some setting spray and i think i'm done okay so for my outfit today i'm wearing something super casual this is the new top from aritzia that's just like a one shoulder Kind of little tank top but super hot outside today so i just wanted to wear the least clothes possible honestly um and then these shorts are from zara they're kind of just like this i don't know really i want to say like windbreaker material but they are they have a matching little black um jacket bomber i got it last year so i will try to link like similar um shorts down below i think for perfume today i'm going to go with the sol de janeiro perfume because i put this stuff on my legs the Cop copa cabana bronze oil because i didn't tan my arms or my legs recently so they were looking very pale Ooh. and then i've been getting a lot of questions about my watch it is from amazon it is seco that's my favorite is my favorite. I'm curious to see what bag do I want to wear. I want to wear this. No, no, I don't. Ooh, maybe I'll wear my little LV backpack. I haven't worn this all summer, and it was like my favorite bag last summer. What's in here? I always find like little surprises in my bags because I'm the worst at like fully emptying them out. I don't know if this goes with the vibe of my own. I feel like this is gonna be it. I feel like I'm gonna wear the Nano Speedy. This is my thought process every time I like think I get a bag I want in my head. Like in my head, I simply have no other bag, which is crazy because I, I definitely do. But this is how I convince myself that I need another bag, which is crazy because I don't. I I really don't. Ooh. It's a freaking sun up in this car. Oh, I should have brought one of my juices. I think I'm going to go back and get it because I don't want to stop at Starbucks. I'm trying to limit my Starbucks intake. But I got this package from Walmart. One of you guys sent this to me. You guys are like the flipping best, okay? It's from Walmart, okay? Keep in mind that what am I about to show you is from Walmart. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I'm so excited. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I've never been so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go run and grab 
my juice. The juice that I'm having today has pear, cucumber, spinach, kale, celery, parsley, pineapple, lemon, and jalapenos. I love these juices. They're kind of expensive, but so good. Am I the only one who loves the taste of celery? Like ever since I was a kid, whenever there was a vegetable platter, I always went for the celery. I eat celery raw, I still love the taste of celery, celery in food. You can really taste the celery in here and it's so good. Let's head out to work. See the sister, we'll check in with her. Then probably head downtown because I have no self-control. Hey, oh, you signed it. Yeah, because Mike was drying on the other side. My first one. I heard color is. <gasps> no, it's so bad. Do you find it relaxing, Stella Marie? Yeah, but I get hand cramps. Hand cramps? Because like holding. Miss. Spin. I came to get some. Oh, I like the white one. I'm gonna use Kong snacks. Ooh, you just pop them in? Yeah, I guess. Um, this is the one I had, but I don't know where I put it. I have a leopard one if you want it. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm excited about these. Goodbye, Stella Marie. Okay, so we're home, mission accomplished. And now I'm working on dinner, so we're making the eggplant pizzas. The first thing you're gonna do is just put, you can't even see me. The first thing you're gonna do is just salt the eggplant. This is just to draw out the moisture. You're gonna leave it sit for like 15 minutes. I just have it on a dish rag. Um, like so. And in the meantime, I thought we could unbox the new bag. It's a little better. Okay, so as the oven is heating up, I thought we would unbox it. I got my fake tan on the bag. So just like my last one, it didn't come with a box. I'm not, I'm sure you can ask for a box, but I didn't even bother. Oh my God, it feels so new and nice. I have to take, oh, it's so nice. And then you have the little pochette thing which is the best part. Everything of course comes wrapped up. I don't know if it's because it, ox I think it's because it oxidized, but the one on my nude one looks a little bit, or not oxidized, it got dirtier. So, of course my camera's about to die. Like, I'm so happy. Don't mind the mess. Okay, so I sprayed these down with a little bit of avocado oil. Just some regular Italian seasoning. Um, let me tell you what this has. So you can, you don't need to go buy it. It has um, dehydrated onions, carrots, red bell peppers, garlic, green bell peppers, sugar, salt, spices, and herbs, oregano, and basil. Just in case you wanted to make your own little uh, spice blend. So I'm gonna put some of this on it. They were sitting for about half an hour before and we already salted them so I'm not going to put any more salt but I'm going to bake them for about 20-25 minutes and then we'll add the toppings. Okay so I cooked them for about half an hour, I flipped them halfway through and then I sprinkled some garlic powder on this side. We're going to be using Rayo's of course, it's the best. If you guys have never tried Rayo's, you are seriously missing out, it is the best sauce in the world. Oh, there's the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and spoon some on each little thing. You can put as much or as little as you want. And I'm a cheese monster. I'm gonna try to contain myself because I know I can go a little bit overboard. I think the last few I'm gonna do with this cheese just to see how it is. I know this doesn't like melt as nice. When they come out of the oven, I'm gonna top them with some truffle oil. I got this truffle oil. Um, it comes in a pack of two. Okay, you guys, you need this in your life. It comes in a pack of two. You get a black truffle oil and a white truffle oil. I got them on Amazon because all of the grocery stores I've been to recently have been sold out. They came the next day and they're the best truffle oils I've ever tasted. So I'll leave those linked down below. Okay, I think they're ready. I broiled them for the last like 
few minutes just to get them nice and toasty. Look how good they look. Oh my goodness. They look so good. So I'm just gonna put them on my plate and then I'm gonna top them with some truffle oil. So excited to eat. Hi, say hi Leo. Oh, it's all blurry. 800 years later, we have a Leo. Um, I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I rushed out the door, but look what I got. It's so heavy. I stopped at Bath and Body Works because I swear to gosh, I have had the same one candle all of quarantine, and I've been like holding on to it because all the stores were closed and you can't order candles. Can you order online to Canada? I'm not sure, but I've been holding on to one candle and it just finished, so I went and picked up some more candles. They weren't having the best sale, but I needed some candles, and I go like twice a year, honestly, to get these candles, so when I go, I buy a lot, so I'll show you guys the candles that I bought. First one I got is this one right here. Ocean Driftwood, it smells delish. It's mahogany coconut. Personally, I prefer like their fall scents, but they obviously only had most of their summer scents. Coconut Cabana, I love coconut so much. Okay, so this one, they actually sent me the entire line of this and it smells so good. It smells like Chanel Mademoiselle, like so expensive. I have the hands up in my bathroom and everyone loves it, so I got the candle for it. I also got the body spray because I had this, but I gave it to my mom because she was obsessed with it. I promise you need to try it. I got this um, spray antibacterial soap, hand soap, I mean, sanitizer. I also got warm vanilla sugar hand sanitizer. I got a coupon. I got um, cinnamon sugar donuts. So good. I got, I think this is vanilla bean. Like I said, I love warmer fall scents. So those are like my two warmer fall scents. And then I got this one which is suntan, which smells like sunscreen, which just like reminds me of my childhood. So I needed an eyebrow gel, and of course I got more stuff. I got the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask because I need a good moisturizer, and I do like that one. And then I got, oh, this is a little, they actually had something really good, a little Wonder Glow for 100 points, so I picked that up. And then I got the brow 24 hour brow setter because I don't have like just a clear brow gel. My favorite lip liner, which I lost, Nudist. The best nude lip liner known to humankind. It is so good. So that's what I picked up. I think now I was gonna stop at Starbucks, but I'm trying to be a good girl. So I think I'm gonna make my own drink. I have my cup from yesterday that I'm gonna wash and just make my own drink. And I'll show you guys how to make like an at-home passion tea lemonade, which was so good. Even my boyfriend, who was so picky, said it was so good. So you're gonna take your cup, whatever cup, it doesn't have to be this one, obviously. And you're gonna take your cold tea. This one is this one. It's um, peach and passion fruit. I got it a few days ago. All I did was um, heat up some water in the microwave. You can just boil it in your kettle. I put three tea bags in with about three cups of water. Put ice up to like this first line and then I'm gonna pour the tea up into here. I need to make some more. I'm gonna make some more after this. Cold tea with some ice and then I'm taking my lemonade. You can use whatever lemonade you want. This is the Slim Lemonade. It has no aspartame, no artificial flavors, no artificial uh, no artificial colors, 10 calories per serving. I don't like drinking my calories. Um, so I add about that much, so it's full. Then you're gonna take a lemon. This just makes it like feel fresher and taste better. Um, I'm taking about half a lemon and lemon is so good for you. So I'm taking about half a lemon and squeezing that into my cup. And there you go, you have a full passion tea lemonade at home. Honestly, this tea makes it taste exactly like the passion tea at Starbucks. For me personally, drinking water is kind of hard, but chugging this down is so, I know it's not the same thing as water, but Especially if you put mostly tea. I put a little bit like equal parts lemonade if you put mostly tea. Okay, so I think we're gonna try that famous meal that's going around TikTok where the girl eats carrots, the plain mustard, and a cold sweet potato. I'm kind of scared. I mean, I'm not scared because I love mustard. I've always loved mustard. Normally I love it on my hot dogs, but 
Might be good on carrots. I just have these baby carrots. I know baby carrots are not the best for you, but whatever. And I love carrots. Kind of tastes weird. And she eats like raw um, broccoli and raw asparagus. I'm not there yet, although I'm not like opposed. And I think I'm gonna take half of this sweet potato. So I just cooked the sweet potato. I clean them really well, cook it for an hour at 350. And if you are on TikTok and you know this meal, okay, let's try. What? Okay, that's actually really good. It kind of tastes like I'm eating. You want some carrot? It tastes like I'm eating. Okay, I wouldn't say a hot dog, but you really only taste the mustard. That is really good. Okay. Not really good. You didn't even eat it. You need to carry it. It's right there. I'll try the sweet potato. She eats it with the skin on and everything. Is it bad? No. But I would never like just be like, out of all the things in my fridge, I want a cold sweet potato. Maybe if I heat it up. I definitely feel very healthy eating these things. It's definitely way better warmed up. I'm glad I tried it. I'm going to eat my leftover little eggplant pizzas and then I have to do some work. But that was a fun little morning. I got to go shopping, buy my candles, all before 1 p.m. Hello, okay. Um, so, what is this spot on the shirt? I'd spoken, I think it was like two blocks ago about my pores just being extra large and in charge, okay? like. I've never had like pores where they like come out. It looks like um, they, they're like about to burst, you know? So one of you DM'd me about this. So I ran to my Sephora, picked it up, Purity Pore Dis um, Extractor. I've already tried it one time before and it made my skin so freaking smooth. So we're gonna do it again. I'm just gonna rinse my face because I have like serums and stuff from last night. Wow. I swear I take all of your recommendations very, very seriously. Like whenever you recommend something to me, I get it. I feel like we're very similar. I feel like we're best friends and just like I recommend stuff I know you guys will like. I feel like you guys will recommend stuff that I like. Amazing. This is definitely going to be my summer favorite. I'm just gonna rinse my face. You have to massage it on your the area that needs it. So this is the area that I really need it. I just massage it on. And if you look at the reviews on Sephora, all of the reviews are amazing. If you have like more pore issues, you can massage it a little bit harder. That's what I did because blackheads for me are like a huge, like if you get up close on my nose, I have so many blackheads, which I'm lucky that that's like the only really skin issue I have. But if you want to see the other skincare stuff, I just posted a whole skincare video with all the products I use every day. Make sure it's all rubbed in, and then you leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes. I <laughs> look nuts. 10 to 15 minutes or until it's dry, and then you rinse it off, and your pores, well, what I noticed was my skin was super, super soft, and my pores look really, like, tight and clean. All right, so like I said, this is officially the second time I do this, and I can't get over my pores. I've never seen my nose so clear, like I'm not even being dramatic. Okay, so I went upstairs to kind of get ready and make the bed. Oh, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but I put my shoes here for now. But this is my bedroom. I wanted to talk about something for a second. Showed that I got new sheets on my Instagram stories. I ordered them from Brooklinen. They were heckin' expensive, okay? They were the Lux Sateen sheets. I don't know if I just don't really notice a huge difference but like i they're soft they're great don't get me wrong but they were heckin expensive and i don't know if i necessarily think they were worth it like i don't really know they're soft they're light they're breathable they're airy but i don't touch them and go oh my god this is what dreams are made of right leo do you 
Do you like the sheets? Oh, okay. Apparently, okay, they get softer as you wash them. This little bum hole. He needs to get his hair brushed. She's looking like a little monster. Leah, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? I'm gonna go make the bed um, because if my bed's not made, I can't do anything during the day. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so this is the before. I'll show you guys once it's made. All right, and there we go. The bed is all made. A clean, um, done bed is my favorite thing. I also love tucking this, these in. I just find it makes it a lot cleaner. And then also using a wrinkle releaser on your duvet makes it look like more like a hotel. I make my own with just some fabric softener. It's like at the end, so it's not coming out that well. Just some fabric softener and water. Um, you can find different recipes online, and it makes it look amazing. I think I'm going to hang that. I have to hang the mirrors, but I also don't know like if I want those mirrors for sure. And you need like industrial like screws to hold those up. But I think everything hung up would just look a lot better. So I'm going to ask um, Darren to help me with that when he gets home.